welcome back to ex2l beauty where today i'm going to be talking about my first impressions and my sort of review on the new ellie girl well they're not new actually they're actually old but it's new to me i got four of these um ellie girl matte flat finish pigment glosses i will show all the swatches swatches let me know which ones are your favorite out of these four so as a first impression my first one I ever tried on was fuller and I wore it for a day I'm currently wearing um secret right now but I used fleur for a day and let me just tell you this does not come off it does kind of get cracky a little on your lips like don't go like don't do that to your lips with these because if not you're gonna make streaks and you're gonna ruin it and I didn't use a lip liner in any of those swatches, but they're actually pretty good. But for me, the hardest ones to take off were Fulper and Bazaar. But as a first impression, I really like it. Like, I, I made sure to put a chapstick because you know how you always hear make sure you put chapstick on when you're going to wear like matte stuff. So I made sure it didn't crack my lips. It, didn't, it feels drying. It does. I told you guys not to do that. But like, Yes, yeah, so like if you just go like lightly, it doesn't stick. But when you go hard, it sticks because I was doing that to the texture and I messed it up. But anyways, and I did not reapply it at all, and it stays on your lips. So for these, I highly, highly, like you should buy these. Like buy them all. I'll have the link below if you want to purchase any of these because I purchased them from ikhouse.com. But you can click the link below. And. I really really love this I wish I bought more but I just bought like the colors I was more interested in just because I didn't know how I was gonna feel about them but moving on to the next lips I got just one of these Ellie girl matte flat velvet lipsticks which I will show the swatch now welcome back so I don't know I feel like this reminds me I don't know what it reminds me of. But I don't know if I really like this. I don't even know why I bought this. It's just like the random one by itself. Like, it's okay, I guess. But I'd rather have these instead of this. So, that's my review on that. I mean, like, it's nice and it's good. And I brought, like, a really unordinary color. But I'd go for these. Last but not least, I got five of these glazed lip paints. And you'll see the swatches now. Which ones did you guys like the best? So my impression on these were the first one I tried was Gleam. It was really oily. Like when I pressed it, the color wasn't quite there. It was really oily and like liquidy, and it kind of made a mess. Like I guess these are all right. Some people compare them to the Too Faced ones. I don't know. I feel like the Too, Fa Too Faced ones are a little bit more pigmented, but obviously because they're more expensive and these are way affordable and cheaper. But if you want to try these, you should buy them. But I. If you're like in a budget and you don't know if you want to buy these or the pigment glosses, go for the pigment glosses. These were all right. Like I, I like really bold lips to where you can see it. Like I'm not really a fan of like glossy where it's just glossy because some of these, as you can see, you can't really see the color. And I did kind of like pack it on just to get kind of see the color, but you can't really see the color. So these are, I mean, they're good, but they're all right to me. I personally just really, um, I'm just in love with these. I love these. I'm going to go buy the rest of these and I'll, I'll love them forever. These are okay. Like, obviously it's glosses. If you like glosses, you'll love these. But I love these. These four are my bays. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like them. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests on other things, please leave them down below. Or let me know what colors are your favorite and what you like. And I'll see you guys next time.